Who's a lucky boy then? It's not as though we're the sort of people you'd want round in a bunch at your house for tea, is it? What? Oh no, it wasn't you. I will shut the door then. What? That one. The door in the fridge. Shut it. Oh, yeah. Sure. Get back up the tree. Who's a lucky boy then? It's not though, is it, Pop? I mean, it's not as though we are the sort of people you'll want round at your house in a bunch for tea, is it? What's up? Getting scared, Peter. Hey, we're not all going to come round in a bunch to your house for tea, are we? Shouldn't think so. Uh, look, Shifter, don't sit there. Uh, sit there. Uh, where do you live, Pop? Well, outside in quarters, like most of the other officers. No, I mean where? Yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, there. Oh, you can't even see outside in here. I mean, in a proper prison, in a proper cell. At least you can climb up and have a look out of your window. Man, this place gives me the... Oh, Struth, look what we've got today. Morning, Principal Officer Peters. I thought since it was today, I thought I'd better make a little effort. Rasputin, you look horrible. Thank you. And you, Nancy, look as you always look. You always will. Uh, breakfast? Why not? If I got t -t time. Time is the one thing you have an endless supply of, my friend. Look, uh, shift that one round there a bit for me, Stanley, will you, please? Watch you don't strain yourself. Morning, Arthur. Get up, wanker, wanker, get up. Oh. There, Fosser, get up. I'm not getting up. Yes, you are, you are, wanker, you are getting up. I don't feel like I it. I feel like it, so, right? Leave off, Wanda, what are you doing? Get up, wanker. Leave off, will you? I'm ill. I've no sleep, that's all. You'll have me chucked out. That's right, that's very right, that is. Get up. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Miss Getz. Oh, 
Should you be doing that, do you think? Yes, Edvard, should you be doing that, do you think? Watch your sparrow. Good morning, Alan. If we do not do it for ourselves, it should not be done, yes, because it tells us something, yes. If we do it, we are trying to ingratiate. If we do not do it, we are hostile. No? And if we mock at people's accents who are not English, it shows we are a fool. I'm a fool, I'm a fool, it's me too, I'm a fool. And so, how is Peter today? Oh, well, yeah, terrific. Stanley? Morning, yeah. Why don't you try writing it down? Hey, you want a cup of tea, Wilder? Want me to make you a cup of tea? I don't drink tea, I drink coffee. Yeah, want me to make you a cup of coffee? What are you doing yeah. fishing for it? Why don't you harpoon it with a fork? It's not eating. I'm worried, in case it dies. I don't blame it. I wouldn't eat that. You've got to fry it first in breadcrumbs. Yeah? We ain't got no breadcrumbs. We soon shall have. Oh, yeah. Just one minute, Winder. Right. Now, listen a minute. Peter, you do not talk like that. Eva, my dear, he just has talked like that. Well, he shouldn't. It's not positive. When we think and speak, it must be positive, Peter. He's nervous, that's all, eh, Peter? At least he's here, aren't you? What do you mean? Why? Who's not here? Oh, she tells me off for arranging the chairs. Perhaps she's nervous, Principal Officer. You know, one day, Stanley, I'm going to give your head a little bang on the wall. Ah. Arthur, there's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Right? Okay? I tell you, Arthur, I'm your friend. You'll be okay, you'll see. Really okay. So don't let them get you, right? We don't let them get to any of us, right? We just play along with it because the food's all right. All right? They're a lot more clever than we are, Winder. Oh, yeah. I have it black, too. Well, they're a lot more clever than we are, me and Stats. Everyone's a lot more clever than you and Stats, so you just follow my lead, right? I always follow your lead. Mm. Mm. Right. Mm. And look where it gets me. What? Where? In the... What you talking about? Like yesterday when you... Oh, go back to sleep. Come on, the night, man. You with me or not? Oh, I don't know what you mean, though, Winder. What do you mean? I haven't told you yet what I mean. Listen, right? We don't cooperate. Starting the day, we don't cooperate. No violence, OK, so we accept the rule. We don't get violent. We just don't cooperate. We have a sit-in, right? A sit-in. Oh. How can we have a sit in somewhere we can't get out of? I don't know why I bother. I wonder if Gandhi had the same. Honest, that anemic newt's got more brains than you. It's an axe. Axe. Oh, give over! Let's just stick to the point, right? Yeah. Yeah, what is the point? Tell us what the point is and we'll stick to it. Right. A sit in. A sit in in the cells, right? Only this is the clever bit. Not in our own cells. We all sit in in someone else's cells. See? Right? But, 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 who's? Not all in the same cell. Each person in some other person's cell. Got it? Yeah, but what's the point of that? Well, it confuses them, doesn't it? It confuses them? Look, don't you know the first thing about psychology? Well, what 
are you doing here in the sin bin, then? Sounds as though yet another's becoming nervous, Principal Officer. Don't you think you should help them? Man, you know, I think they just put you in here to see what we could put up with. If we could put up with you, now we could put up with anyone and anything. Any poisonous snake, any stinging scorpion, any creepy, slimy, crawling thing at all. You know, I think you could very well be right. I think we may well have sussed them out absolutely correctly on that. What do you say, Principal Officer? Don't know, Stanley. I mean, I'm only just a thick-headed screw, ain't I? True. Eva? Hmm? Would you mind if I asked you how old you was? Twenty-eight. You come from Hungary or somewhere, don't you? Many years ago with my parents. When I was a little girl. You know what suffering's like. Arthur, do you want to talk about yourself? Not out there. Not today. I've had a rotten night. Do I have to be there? I'm tired out. Can't I stay in bed? Of course, Arthur. Of course you can stay in bed. What's happened to Jean Jean Gabor then? Ministering to the sick. What is it? The blind leading the blind. The halt assisting the lame, is it? You do have a nice turn of phrase, don't you? Yes, I got marks for it at school. They still show. I'm suggesting that we have a city. Well, all right, before you. We say we're not going to take part. And we all sit in in our cells, see? Only not in our own cells, we all sit in different ones, someone else's. Man, you ought to see a psychiatrist. That's what you should do. <laughs> What's so funny then, Nancy? Go on, tell us. And don't you see what a ball it would be? Who's sitting, who's cell, and all that stuff? Go on. Now, whose cell did you sit in, Winder? Oh, really? Ape Man's cell. Well, now, isn't that interesting? Now, tell us why you chose Ape Man's cell. What makes you identify with him? And then tell us how you feel about Arthur Winder. Now, he put himself in your cell, didn't he? Remember? Now, how do you feel about Arthur identifying himself with you, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, well, so, well, I think I should stay in my own cell. I definitely identify with myself. You're on. No, Winder, I'm not on. I'm definitely off. Include me out. Of course, if you've, uh, if you've talked ape man and stats into it that shows what a, a leader you are or something doesn't it you are a right snivelling creep aren't you a right snivelling creep definitely my day today for compliments it's the dead go and sit in with a goldfish huh it's an axe axe it did nearly took me fingers off and all dangerous them things Good morning, Donald. I see you are feeling like yourself today. And where shall I sit? Where do you think you should sit? Oh, please, Miss Gatz, do. And I am aware that I'm blatantly trying to ingratiate myself. And you succeed, Stanley. 
But, yes, thank you. I think I'll sit here. We thought you was dead. Is any consolation to you? I am pretty near. Arthur. Take it easy then, mate. What? 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 Oh, can't someone give me a pencil and paper or something? Relax, Sydney. Just take it easy and relax, right? Right, now what is it, eh? D -d -d dozen. Mm. Mm. He's going to amaze us. He's actually going to say something. Oh, my blooming hell. Shall we begin with the situation? You've been brought from different prisons and you've now been together here for just over a week. You're all serving life sentences and each one of you has so far been in prison for a long, long time. And, to be quite realistic about it, not one of you has much chance at all, really, of ever being let out. Not one of you. Ever. So, in prison for 16 years. No one's put it to me straight as that before. It's not true. None of us have got no chance. I'm only 35. I'm done 14 years. I can't be kept in forever. They're not going to keep me in forever. No way. I think they'll keep m m me in forever. Anyone else got anything to say? What about you, Alan? Yeah. I think it's raining, isn't it? How about you, Stanley? I wonder if that's right. None of us will ever be let out. I'd certainly be wondering why we've been brought to this most luxurious abode. Surely far and away the best equipped of all Her Majesty's hotels. Oh, is that it? Make it more bearable for us when we're finally officially told that we're going to stay here or somewhere like it forever. An experiment in the setting up of a human zoo, is it? How to condition human beings to lifelong captivity. But do do me the courtesy of giving me an answer. Do you think that's what it is? Mm. Well, yes. It's fair you should ask. And be answered. No. It's not true. It's not that at all. Well, go on then, what is it? A control unit, a carrot, is it? If we behave ourselves, we can stay here. If not, it's back to the ordinary Nick. More than that, Alan, much more. You all know what it's called. I mean, the official title of the place. A self-rehabilitation unit. Yeah, but what's it mean? That's what I'd like to know. Read. Yeah, and me. Well, I'll try and explain it briefly. Only whether it works and what it becomes is really very much up to you. You're all lifers, which means that you have your sentences reviewed at two yearly intervals or so by the parole board. At each review, they decide if they're going to recommend a date at some time in the future for you to be released on license. Oh, I'm not. Yes. And in all your cases, every time so far, not. You've all, each time, been turned down, every time. And you've never had anything whatsoever to do with the decision. The parole board's decided on the basis of a host of reports on you by other people, 
prison staff, the police, the judge who sentenced you, and so on and so on. But the principal person concerned, you, you've had no say in your future at all. So, well, all right. This unit's being set up to see if it's feasible to give some lifers, just a very small group to begin with, not the final say, but at least some say in what's eventually going to happen to them, to give them at least a chance of influencing the decision and contributing towards it. Do you begin to get the idea? Am I making it clear? Yeah. <laughs> what a load of cobblers. What's cobblers about here, though, Winder? Give us a say in what's going to happen to us. What you kick off with right at the beginning? We've all got no chance. I said that realistically, that's how it's seen at present by the authorities. That is exactly why you, all of you, exceptionally difficult and unhopeful cases, were deliberately No, chosen. thanks. I'm having nothing to do with it. Look, can't you see it? All it is is to salve their conscience so they can chuck us back in the scrap heap and say, well, at least we tried. Go on, come on, be honest. I think she is being honest. No one's been that honest with me before. Listen, you shut up, you big creep. Wanker. Hey! Open up! I want to get back to a proper nick! Well, there's no point in that winder. He's on his break. There's no one there. Dear Alan, do come back and sit down. What are you, too afraid even to talk about Listen, it? you Hungarian slag. Don't you give me any of your psychiatry, I Muck. I think you should. You see, they insisted there should be an alarm, but nobody said it had to be connected up, so... <laughs> you in the face. Any violence, you're out. That's the rule, right? Getting that phone at the heavy mob, because you're going to need them. And because the telephone doesn't work either. I've tried it at least twice a day so far. Just another con. I'll tell you something else that's a... I must say, I found all that absolutely fascinating. Didn't you, Principal Officer? I mean, at one layman to another. I can't imagine what reams of meaning our two psychiatric friends will have read into it. I'm not a psychiatrist, Stanley. I'm a psychologist. What's the d... d... Well, duh. should we perhaps not bother too much about things like that, but just go on? Are you all right, Alan? Me? Oh, yes. Yeah. I think that's it, you see. It's going to be like that all the t, t, t I mean, that's the whole idea. What? What's going to be like what? I mean, how we behave to one another. It's like, uh, It's like as though we got to try and find out, you see. Sort of test out how we might behave with other people if we went out. Is it something like that? What are you doing, May? What are you doing? Where's this all gone to? What's happened? What? I mean, all that pu 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 wo 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 Where's it gone to? What's happened? Oh. Well, I uh, don't know. Sometimes it comes out all right. Well, is that it? What is it? That's what we're supposed to do? Work out how we'll behave? Oh, well, go on and tell us. Don't just part of it, perhaps, but not all of it. As far as it goes, what Sydney says is true. Perhaps you can help yourselves. 
Perhaps you can help one another. Maybe we can help, too. Only I haven't got any magic solutions, because there aren't any. And there's no way of telling whether the idea will even work, either. It may not be any help to any of you at all. All we can do is try and find out. Well, if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, how are we supposed to, huh? How? Oh. Well, then you think it's something can be done quickly, easily, all at once? Pump uh, when it's done? Then what's the point? Oh, boy. And you're the one who's supposed to have brains. Oh, yeah, who says I'm supposed to have you brains? You do often enough. What is it, two A-levels you've got, or three since you came inside? Look, all I'm trying to say is... All we're saying is, why don't you shut up for a change and let someone else have a hearing? Now, this lot are not going to tell us what to do as though we are kids, but they're sure going to be listening to us doing it. So we've all got to start thinking, see? Right? You're not getting me and all that... OK, soul, shut you? up! Right. So where do we start? Say why we should go out? Is that where we should start? Say why we should go out? Is that how you'd like to start? My God, just look at the old lot! No! Of you look. Either listen and take part, or stop throwing a weight about and shut up! Are you going to go on then, Donald? Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but why can't I go out? I should go out, because I've never really murdered anybody. Not like the rest of you. Well, most of you, anyhow. I'm not dangerous. I'm no harm to no one. So why won't you let me out? Is that how you see it, Donald? And are you going to say first why you are in prison? Yeah. Don't mind saying it. Why should I? Set fire to a building and it burnt down. And that's all there is? Of the description? So it was. So tell us what sort of a building it was, Ipman. Just an ordinary building. A bit like a school. Now what does that mean precisely, a bit like a school? And there was someone in it when you burnt it down, right? <laughs> Look, I didn't mean to burn it down. It was an accident. Caught fire more than I thought. Well, there was someone in it. I didn't know there was. It was dark. How could I know there was people in it? Well, what sort of people? Well, c kids. No, of course not. You said it was a school. You said it looked like a school. Did well, what, 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 what was it? Mm. Don't know. Forgot. I thought we looked like a... Look, I've been in 14 years. <laughs> a long time. Oh, boy. Boy, lady, you've, you've got a long way to go with us. It was... Uh sort of home for old people. I think it was five of them, they said. I think they said it was five of them all together that got burned to death. An arsonist? A sex case? And four murderers? What, a... what the sort of people you'd like round in the bunch at your house for tea, is it? I don't consider myself to be a murderer. <laughs> what are you, Rasputin? Innocent? I'm talking about terminology. You see, legally, there's no proper term for what I was convicted for. Justifiable execution, I suppose, would be the nearest description for it. I thought you told me once you cut your wife into... Yes, afterwards, but that was an entirely different matter. I was obeying the instructions of St. Barnabas. Sorry? You just confirmed it. A sex case, everyone knows it, right? An eight man sets light to an old folks home, kills half of them. Yeah, it was an accident. Yeah, OK, it was an accident. You were just careless. And you, just the minute I killed your old woman or something, was it? Someone else's old woman, right? She was my woman, OK? And her husband and her mother? Well, I didn't kill them. Just cut them about a bit. And a bit of damage to three of the coppers who came. 
That's all. And you know, if I'd been a white man, I can tell you this, I sure wouldn't still be here today. And I'll tell you another I thing, too. I like we're making point first, right? And him. You all know about him. You're a nice fella, Stutz. Wouldn't hurt a fly. That's what I think, yes. Apart from those two kids, are you back to death right in a wood? Well, 20 years ago. People shouldn't k k keep going on about... Yeah, we know. You were nuts, right. So, well, see. I'm sorry, but... Was that it? Was that the point? I'm sorry, I missed it. What was it? I'm just saying, that's it. You're all nutters. But you're... You're not? No, of course not. I'm the only one here who's nothing more than an ordinary, genuine, straight-up villain. Look, you lot, all of you, you've all done daft things, right? Well, people you knew, most of you. Well, not him, but he's too far out. And not you either, but... Look, what I'm trying to say is that what I did was real, proper crime. Bank job. Me and the lads, we all had shooters, only mine was the one who got that off. Silly cow behind the counter, doesn't get a red out of the way, and... <laughs> it's like a war, isn't it? Her name was on it, she got it. But it was crime, see? I'm not a nutter. Oh, oh, yeah. Funny <laughs> fella, Winder. Well, you're just about the biggest nutter of the lot. Ah, well, if you're all too stupid. You see, we're not getting anywhere. Nowhere at all. And why aren't we getting anywhere? It's you, Winder. You've got... And if you wanted to, you could get us all. You are, aren't you? You're doing it deliberately all the time, just to make sure no one... Perhaps we should leave that for a while and go back. Would you like to? To what Donald was saying earlier. He was asking, wasn't he, why don't you let me out? Yeah. Arthur, if that's what you'd like, Donald, to talk some more about it. Well, yeah, I want to talk about it. I want to know why I can't have parole. Well, it's like Winder said, because you're a nutter. No, but if he's a nutter, then he shouldn't be in prison, should he? He should be in a mental hospital. Well, I'm not a nutter. And anybody who sets fire Look, or... they tried me. They said I was all right to be tried. This doctor examined me first, and he said I was all right. Well, that's like giving me a certificate saying I'm sane, all right? <laughs> well... Well... It's all right, Donald. It's all right. It's okay. Go on. Well, on this parole. So what I'm saying is, you've been tried once when you've done whatever you've done to see if you should go to prison or not, and then when they've decided, they put you in prison with a life sentence. And then the parole people, well, they try you again, don't they? See what I mean? To see whether to let you out or not? Only for that second trial... You're not there. You've got no one to represent you or look after your points or argue for you or nothing. So, well, that's what I'm saying. It's not fair. It's not fair, it's not fair. Okay, you keep saying it. It's not fair. Okay, it's not fair on everyone. Why does that mean you should be let out? Yeah, you should tell us that. Well, because I've got a good chance if I go out. A lot better than a lot of people. I've got my wife and two kids outside for a star, something to work for and try and... Well, I mean, they come to see me, don't they? I've done regular ever since I came in. Yeah, who else can say that? Hey? Yeah, I've got my mum and dad, they come to see me, and two brothers, three sisters come to see me and all, all come to see me and write to me. And, and, and I've got aunties and uncles and, I mean, all that big whole lot of people outside who I can go to for help if I need it ever. And I see I don't get into any trouble. And, I mean, why should I with all of them now? And I'll be on licence to a probation officer or someone. And, you know, I don't. I just don't understand it. I don't understand why they won't let me out and give me a chance. 
because you might start b b burning things again. That was 14 years ago, I told you. I was 21 then. I'm 35 now. I mean, they're never going to forget it ever. All right, I've done what I've done, right? So when's society going to say to me, we've done what we're going to to you, so now that's the end of it. You can go. That's it. What a load of cobblers. No, 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 no. You can't... It's all right, I would. I'd like to hear him. You just heard me. No, I mean, go on, say some more. I'm asking for help, Winder. You're younger than me. You're younger than any of us. And you haven't been in so long as the rest of us. Only ten years. Look, ape man. How can I help you? I'm a villain. Well, would you let me out? <laughs> nah, of course not, would I? What? Why? And I wouldn't let you out either, man. No way. No, nor I. What are you all saying? Well, what we're saying, dear ape man, quite unanimously, is... Yeah, but what about my mum and dad and me <laughs> brothers and sisters and wife and kids in that? You say nothing of the probation officer, of course. And don't you want to know why? Yeah, I want to know. Well, we've all got a fair idea, I suppose, of how the parole board's minds work. And one of the first things they're going to look at is how many previous have you got, isn't it? How many previous convictions has this man got? For arson. How many times has he done it before? Well, three previous convictions for it. First time when I was 15. I mean, that's so. I was a kid. Why'd you d d do it? Don't know. Uh, I mean, when I was little, I wanted to be a fireman. Then one day, one of my uncles told me, fireman, put fires out. I just, like, setting things alight. Priests used to talk to me about fires. I used to think it was... Well, I didn't think it sounded too bad. I thought it sounded, well, quite... I just like setting fire to that it went wrong. Only I was only a kid. Well, I think we have to face it, don't we? That this man is still a kid. He had no idea then why he's doing what he's doing. He's got no idea now, not really, what it's going to be like for him when he goes out. All that stuff about his mum and dad and wife and kids. It's got nothing to do with it. They didn't stop him coming into prison. Now they're going to stop him coming back. Well, I shan't come back because I don't want to come back. I want to stay out. I do. I shan't let myself come back. Well, there's no work pattern to speak of or anything, have you? You're completely institutionalised. How do you think you could possibly survive? Well, because I make myself think about things. And I will. I will think about things. I will because I'm more grown up. Oh, yeah. And what do you do in the nick? Pretend you're a monkey, right? What good's that? Being a monkey. How's that going to help you when you're out? Ah, so that's him as he is. Totally inadequate. As well as that, of course, there's the protection of society to be very fully considered. Likelihood of his doing it again. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not going to do it again. I expect he said that the last time to the judge. And the time before. And the time before. I mean, will public opinion stand for it? After all, five innocent old people died. It's a lot of old people. It is. It is a lot. It's f f five. Mm. And what's he done so far? Is it 14 years? Man, that's less than three years each, right? Oh, but hang on a minute. I mean, listen. Well, we're listening. Well, you're wrong. I mean, why are you doing this? You're wrong. All right, I'm not saying I will. All I'm saying is I should have a chance. It's hard for me to think, but I will think. Can I offer you in on this or what? 
Well, you've never given yourself a chance, have you? You've always been a funny man, eh, man, eh? Always been a funny man, right? Yeah. When I was a kid, five or six, there were some of us playing in an empty house. Someone gave me a shove down the cellar steps and I fell on my head and got concussion. I was in hospital six weeks. I mean, that's not that sort of funny. Funny jokes, ah, oh, eh, eh, all that. But what do you like then when no one's watching you, in your cell, on your own at night? It hurts. Think about things all the time. It does. It's easier just to go on and let people think you're... Well, you know... A bit... Are you? Really? So that means he's no chance? In all your eyes, he's no chance. I can't help feeling. You know, I would say that someday, somehow, surely he's got to be given a chance. I don't know how, but somehow. Outside. I mean, you can't really tell what anybody's like, really, at all in prison. But there are lots of, well, simple people who do live outside. It's a risk, of course, but there have got to be risks taken with some people sometime. Of course, he'd have to be under very strict supervision. Burning places down with people inside them? Man! It's, it's dangerous! Trouble is, well, some of it, it's he never says he's... Well, he couldn't live with saying it, could he? That's all part of what the monkey business is for, isn't it, eh? Eight man, right? No! Help me! Stop! Stop! So all you're all doing is hurting me, giving me hurt. You've not... You've not got to let it get to you. If you let it get... It's too late. What's the good? Can't be undone. I didn't mean them no harm. The only one of you didn't mean them no harm. You can't change nothing, no. Nothing will be changed. Simple. Shouldn't be let out. Who? 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 Maybe next time I'll be. Like Alan said, a long way to go. Still, it's a start. Peter. Huh? Oh, yes. She was very honest. No one's been that honest about it before. It was the day after Alice Hemingway shot himself that I was sent to. What was her name, did she say? Mackenzie, Dr. Margaret Mackenzie. Eighteen years ago, strange how you remember things. No one's been that honest before. And another thing, a few months later, was that man, what was he called? Um, he was killed in an aeroplane crash. United Nations man, ha Hammersholt. I've always been a coward, right from when I was a kid at school. Of course, the main thing nearly all that year was the Eichmann trial. It was very good, Donald. 
You were very brave. You did very well. And it's not the end. There's plenty of time still, okay? But you were the one who was brave, hmm? So, until the next time, okay? It was funny, that, wasn't it? Just that once I said something properly. <laughs> When's the next one? Adam? Thought you might want. Would you want? Sit down. Do you want this? Tea? No. Well, what do you want, Wanker? How did you know? That was a sex case. You told him. How did you know? You were brought down to the scrubs about four years back, right? Come from Durham. Some of the fellas up there done you over, so they sent you to the scrubs, put you in solitary and rule 43 for your own protection. One of the screws at the scrubs was a mate of mine. He was on the landing where you were on his own one night. Teddy was thinking of forgetting to lock the door. Would I like to get together a little team to go in and give you a kicking? I went on to Parkhurst. No one did give me a kicking for scrubs. I had a darts match that night. You're going to tell the others any more? I don't know. Yeah. Shouldn't think so. Anyhow, we're supposed to tell about ourselves, aren't we? I like I did. Rapes and that, weren't it? Five or six little kids, some of them your own. Still, at least you never killed no one, did you? <laughs> oh, go and play with your stuff, Bow Wow. <laughs> It, man. You aiming to get killed, man? I mean, like, personally by me. Look, we're trying to have a civilized talk. That guy ought to live up a tree. I used to live in a f f forest. He's had a traumatic experience. He's very unhappy and disturbed. If you had any niceness in you, you'd feel very sorry for him. I can't remember living anywhere else except in a forest. You and I, my friend, I've been thinking. Nancy, darling, listen when I'm talking to you. That has a meaning, that word, right? Nancy, that's a poof, huh? Oh, gracious. Nobody still uses it like that, surely, do they? I've never heard it used like that since I was at school. Anyway, it's your nickname. Everyone calls you... Not man. everyone. Just those I let. Are we going to be violent? Those are they. They're the ones that got me here. Just like that. It was a piece of wood. Like that. Like your shirt. 
Well, sure, clothes are important. I always like to look my best. They notice things like that. Yeah. What they've got to pay attention to much more, surely, is... Which is what I've been thinking about concerning us, my friend. We are different. I think I'm different. Oh, I think you I'm certainly are, ah, my dear Stutz, to be sure. Hmm. When next we see the lesbian ladies, I think it should be pointed out to them. Different like what? I don't want to be lumped in with you, Rasputin. You, you're crazy. I'm not. If you want to be free, you've got to think about how you ask. I'm not going to beg anyone for my freedom. One day I'll get it. They'll have to give it to me. And then, well, watch out, because I'm suddenly going to enjoy it, man. I sometimes feel very relieved. I personally don't have to decide the d d day. Do you well. seriously think you won't have to beg? Like a little dog. They're all white. And that's just for starters. So what, you're dying? We're all dying. It's my respectful submission. I should be allowed to go out and live for a short while on my own and then be left alone to die on my own in peace. You don't have to be let out for that. You can die on your own in here. Do you think if I've said something like that? They're not the parole. And look, wanker, neither am I. In 16 years, it's... Do you know, I've never had a visit, nor a letter, nor nothing, never in all that time. I had the dog. Somebody sent the dog. It would be... What year is it now? Must have been 1974, perhaps. Might have been her sent it. I think it was. She might be all right now. I think she probably might. Do you think? What, who? Annie, my daughter. She was the youngest. How? 23? Perhaps been married than that, eh? I had a lot of treatment, you know. I mean, before it got that far. Hormones, all the different drugs, ECT, none of them. And then in the end, it was all, all too late. Yeah. Why didn't you get up the team, you know, to give me the kick? I mean, most... I had a darts match! I don't have a shower. I feel all... You and I are the only two who had genuine reason for killing. We killed specific people, our wives. Well, in your case, your woman. As for the others, they weren't even people they knew. You killed one particular person, so did I. Not someone at random, someone we didn't like. So that person, or those persons, no longer being around, there is no reason whatsoever for us to kill again. Oh, but not... Thoughtless, dangerous hooligans likely to kill someone on sight. We are perfectly safe. No, man. I'm not like you. No, no way, thank you. I was wild, lost my head. Jealousy. Went berserk, you know. Revenge. I've been drinking, too. But cutting someone in pieces. Saint Barnabas. Oh, no. No, man. Son of consolation, companion of Paul. Is that a fool, too? Did you have previous convictions? A criminal record before? Nor I. And you listen, man. If I was white, I wouldn't still be kept in these stinking places. I'd be let out years ago. It's because all you Racist. white mothers. Yeah. It makes it more difficult your being black. But that's all. It's not because you are black. Oh, it's much more because you're lacking in subtlety, intelligence, most importantly, self-control. In a word, you're an idiot. 
Whereas I have merely shown myself to be insane. 20 years ago. It's only 24 then. Why did I go on t -t talking about it? But have me in prison now for 20 years? They should have cured me. They have, haven't they? Another who went berserk. Battering children to death in a wood. Children. Are you like that? No, sir, no, sir. Not this fellow, sir. No way. I want you to please listen to me. I think you should listen to me, if you don't mind. Because I've been in prison longer than anyone else here. So I know the most about it. And I'm the one who most deserves a chance. When I did what I did, I was only 24. And, well, I've almost forgotten what I did exactly. Something about a wood. And I was frightened. And I was living rough in the wood. And it was my wood. And someone came and made a lot of noise. And then the police, they said, they said they thought I must be from a mental hospital somewhere and I got out. But no one came and claimed me. Perhaps no one wanted to claim me after. I mean, it could have been my mother or someone, couldn't it? And they didn't want... So you see now. Well, you can't just write me off, not at 44. I mean, I know who I am now. I know where I'm... Six, seven, five, one, seven, Sydney Lehman. They say. So if anything went wrong, someone could come and claim me. So I would like, please, to be let out. Please. Out. Look. Do you mind? I'm watching a good picture. Right? Do you mind? All right? Right. God. Any more, I'll put one on you. It's... Not again. Well, that's it, <laughs> more or less. Yes, Sidney. Well, does someone want to be the first to say something? Yeah. <sighs> no, well then, go on, Alan. Go on, what about Sopus? 
And why is it hopeless? Say, why do you think it's hopeless? It's hopeless, because it's hopeless. That's why it's hopeless. Dark Bungarian git. Oh, don't talk to her like that. No, no, it's okay. We should say what we feel. We all try and speak the truth, always, okay? We should try and remember our manners. We're all human beings. Yeah. We... Well, I'm not. I'm not a human being. I've been writ off, remember? <laughs> Shall we go back to what Sidney was saying? Do you want to add something to it, Sidney? Well, we're still waiting for him to tell us, or at least try to, why he thinks he should be let out, are we not? How can he? She should never be let out, should he? Never. It's obvious, isn't it? He shouldn't be, he can't be, and he won't be. Right? There. See? There's also the element of your own protection, too, Stats, of course. You've lived all your life in mental institutions and prisons. Outside some such place, how could you possibly survive? <laughs> oh, you mean it's for his own good? Terrific. No, oh, you may think it funny, but none of you seem to realise he also needs protecting from the public. Many of them are barbarians. If he was out and they found out who he was and what he'd done, even if it was so long ago, they'd string him up to a lamppost. So, yes, prisons do protect people. Some. You'd have made a good screw. Yeah. I'm talking of which. So where is he? Eddie will be coming. It's okay. Yes, and when he does, if you want to, by all means. Oh, sorry. We were just talking about what makes a screw a screw. Oh, yes. We decided we'd ask you. Oh, and we did no such thing. I did. Look, Alan, are you going to try and break everything up Shut again? Shut up! I would like to say something, please, if I may. After a great deal of thought, I've come to a conclusion, and that is that our friend Alan, who did not earn his soubriquet winder by accident, of course, is in fact an agent provocateur. A stoolie. Deliberately put among us by the Machiavellian prison department. Well, I don't believe that. And thus, of course, will earn, earlier, his own parole. <sighs> Rubbish. Oh, it could be. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Well, if he is. But what are you saying? His presence is too disturbing? Yeah, he just mucks everything up. Yeah, you're never very helpful, Alan. Helpful? Wow. Help. I asked you for help. Put it here by the prison department to get my parole. You're always trying to take us off the... <laughs> Me? Look, I don't even want a beer. The nasty be took off the group. Well, eh? He did. He didn't like it, did you, Winder? Well, it's a pity, though. I mean... Really, sometimes you talk like you haven't got no hope for yourself at all, and yet you're the youngest one of the old... Don't you talk to me, you old bag of... Don't you talk to me about hope, all right? I don't have hope. I don't have no hope, all right? I'm a villain doing a life, that's all. I'm what I am, and keep your nose out of it. You have no hope. You can't call doing a life sentence a no-hope situation. It's more of a no-situation situation, all right? If that's how I see it, that's how I see it. So. And that's all you want to be? That's all you want to be? A professional criminal, a lifer. It's like a degree he's got from a university and he's proud of it. A big, tough hard nut. And it's the only reputation he wants. A stoolie. He's no stoolie. <laughs> And he wouldn't go for his parole like that. You can't do anything for Alan. Perhaps one day. But until then, Winder, eh? Hey? Who has made progress? Who feels they've made progress? Does anyone feel they've made any progress? Yeah, me, I have. Backwards. <laughs> well, that is a kind of progress, Donald, perhaps, to go back and start again. 
I must say, I feel a bit happier. Don't know why. I think I have. That's good, Arthur. That's good, mate. You know, all of you, you've got to try and believe that you're not here indefinitely. Not here forever. Because, I mean, what's it called? It's called the Self-Rehabilitation Unit. Yes. And well, now, if I may, I'll pursue another thought. Uh, do tell us where you were, Principal Officer Peters, and why you were late. Yes, well, I said I'm sorry. I had to see someone. I got held up. Oh, yeah? Who did you have to see? No, nothing to do with no, this. No, everything's Don't got something to do with this. We all have to tell the truth, always. Huh? <laughs> all right. Um, I'm a married man. I... I've uh, been married 21 years. We've got four children, all still at school or college. Well, I want them to have chances that I never had. So what's wrong with that? You went for an interview for another job. That's another prison at higher pay, yes. Oh. Boy. Look, I'm not doing a life sentence. saying he was... Well, I suppose I didn't not expect it. Eddie's got lots of abilities. He naturally wants to... I suppose I knew it would happen eventually, even if not quite so. Perhaps I should also say, I think, that... Yes. Mm -hmm. That's all right. You knew already. You did give my name as a reference. Oh, really, I'm sorry. I asked them specially not to write until it was oh, much more. That's all right. You like to go back into research work, something more academic. It's still not definite. There's others to have interviews who are much more experienced. Oh, they'll take you if they know what they're doing. I... I do feel very bad. Well, do you? Please. Really. Do you mean there's something... trouble, difficulties for the unit going on? I think... I've not heard anything official yet, but... I think it's fairly certain, so I'm told. Yes. <laughs> but it's only just started. Oh, well. You know, like a lot of other things, the cuts and all the rest of it. Maybe in two or three years, things will... I mean, as I say, it's not absolutely certain yet. But it does rather look... Well... I'm afraid... Well, not very... How will you tell them? Oh. Well, 
with some difficulty, I expect. But not yet. Not for a few, well, maybe weeks. Not until I have to. Do you think? I'm sorry, I think you have to tell them, well, tomorrow or whenever we next, as soon as possible how it is. Yes. 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 Contrary, to be quite frank, I don't greatly care how long the authorities keep me inside. It's up to them to decide, isn't it? Makes it their problem, not mine. I just don't cry about it. Never cried about anything in my life. Not even when I was a little boy.